All right, so have you ever experienced when you're younger or recently, you're with your parents and you're like talking to somebody. Like you go with your parents, a parent, you go talk to somebody and then they just take over. They're like loud, they direct attention towards them. <clears throat> and when you're younger, you're like, oh, okay, well, <clears throat> I guess like dad's doing the talking or dad's doing the controlling of this interaction. But then when you get a little bit older, you're like, oh, this is kind of annoying. And then you get a little bit older and then you're like, <laughs> I don't really know um, how to describe my reaction right now. Just kind of a realization I'm coming to right now. Um, but I, I wanted to title this video, don't let your dad control your life. I think it's it's a very direct title. It's like don't let your parents uh, control your life. What I mean by that is like, um, stop caring what people think. Stop caring about what your parents think. If you're if you want to be outgoing, if you want to be a different kind of person, if you want to control interactions, like if you see somebody that you want to go talk to, and you have like somebody with you that normally takes over and is like the loudest person, why not you just <clears throat> start speaking and taking over? Especially if you're watching this and you're like an adult. I mean, I don't know exactly who's going to be watching this video. Maybe you're in your late teens, maybe you're in your twenties, maybe you're even past that. <clears throat> and you still feel like sometimes, um, pa yeah, parents or people who used to have a lot of authority over you, maybe still do have some leverage or authority over you in life. Like, you know what you want to do. You know what you want to say. You have a voice. Uh, do what you want to do. I was on a group call recently um, and a woman said, was actually, well, she shared with everybody that she lost her mother, I think. And <clears throat> her reaction was uh, to smile. And I know that sounds weird, right? My first reaction when she said I lost my mother was like, oh, wow. You know, like I wanted to be like, Oh, I'm so sorry, you know, like that kind of thing. But honestly, for a lot of people, um, they like feel like they become free when somebody leaves this earth that they feel had a lot of influence over them, that they didn't want to misbehave around, that they didn't want to like show a different side of themselves, maybe the true side of themselves. They didn't want to just like let loose around that person because they were afraid of what that person would think or say or do <clears throat> when they did it. So, yeah, I just, I just had a thought. Um, the way that I think about certain people that are close to me in my life now is like a little bit different. When I was younger, it was just like completely back down. Okay, let them take over. Uh, you know, I remember uh, this one time I went to a softball game and I just had a fight with, um, let's just say somebody close to me. And I was all like, I was like, oh, man, my mood was just like down. And this girl came up to me and said, hi. And it like ruined the interaction. Like I was like noticeably upset about something. And I'm just like, hey, she's like, hi, Troy. I'm like, I'm just tired. This was in high school. I was like 14, 15 or something. Um, but <clears throat> the reason for that is because I was letting an outside circumstance determine my mood, my state of being. Like a fight that I had with a family member. Um, instead of just being like, oh, hey, how's it going? You know, like actually engaging, actually taking charge in the conversation or taking some responsibility in the conversation saying what I wanted to say. Uh, Cause I kind of liked that, I liked that girl at that time, but it was very hard, it was very difficult for me at that time to like, I don't know, just take over, just take charge in conversations and stuff. And I was thinking about like the difference that I think now, kind of like a, I don't know if it's an epiphany that I had this morning, but the way that I look at certain people like I see like insecurities in other people, like to want to be the loudest in the room. And I used to think of it as like, oh, they're just in charge. They're more confident than me. They're not more confident than me. 
So you watching this, the loudest people in the room, they're not more confident than you. They're just better at hiding their insecurities. Everybody has insecurities. The loudest people in the room are often the most insecure. And I think, by the way, just on the topic of insecurities, the best way to get over your insecurities is to accept them. So if you're in a conversation with somebody and you're feeling insecure, <clears throat> this is what I did when I got sick of being shy. I, um, I started accepting the fact that I was awkward. I started accepting the fact that I would shake sometimes when I was meeting new people. Like, you know, I'll get really nervous and tense. I started to accept those things about myself. I started to accept the fact that, um, I don't know, it was mostly being awkward and like my conversation. I, I started to accept who I was at that time, who I am.